about to get a final bit of preparation in. These guys have been kind enough to let us use this amazing facility. 10 days out, feel like a killer, feel like a champion. The first British champion, should I say. Let's go. I appreciate you letting us know. Thank you so much. Yeah, great fight. Well, I love Wade, but what a great fight. Thank you, man. It looks like you're going. No, it's, it's time. You feel that money? Hey! Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> you know, from Manchester to Madison Square Garden, I could be more happy for him. I'm thrilled for him. This is a great opportunity to represent his country, become the first kid from the UK to win the PFL. I love competition, you know what I mean? And for some of the guys that could have that opportunity for a million dollars, is super, super cool, man. So I think they're doing a great service. But a million dollars is no joke. Bubba's a good opponent, experienced, knows what he's doing, knows how to win fights. But he's up against a dog. I see you, Bubba. I'm going to try and knock you out. There's the game plan, bro. I'm not hiding anything. When, when have I ever tried to... You're going to try and wrestle me to death, and I'm going to try and knock you out, and whoever succeeds is the champion. Simple. <laughs> going over the final bits of the game plan. I uh, brought in a good friend of mine who I've not seen for a few years. He just came in. He's a natural southpaw, too, so it worked perfect. Brenda, let's go. Millie. Millie in the bank. I'm going to bring exactly what I always bring in a Brendan Lott name fight. People tune in for a reason. I get after it every single time. Naz, we're too good at strikers, bro. We see it all coming. We see it all coming miles away. You better hope you get me down quick. This is the sharpest I've seen him, and he's in what I call a flow state. So I feel like he's ready to take this million dollars. He's ready to bring that championship home. Nice, Brendan. I can't sit behind the camera and be fake about it and be like, I don't like him. I genuinely didn't like Chris Wade. I still don't. So it's hard for me to sit here and say I don't like Bubba. Does that not mean I'm going to try and punch a hole in his face? Absolutely not. I'm going to try and punch a hole in his face. This guy is standing in the way of everything I've ever worked for for 16 years. I've had my first fight for $150. I'm about to do a million. You're going to have to kill me, boys. Ten days out, five rounds, no problem. You only need ten rounds for me, bro. So, how many times a day do you drink tea? Um, quite a lot. Hey? Five, six. It can get like that sometimes in England. Yeah. Oh, do you drink more tea or uh, coffee? Pint. pint. Um, tea's in the day, pints at night. Yeah. So, I've even like pulled the names off, put my name on there, changed the date, put the belt, and just stuff that means to me, obviously. I've had it every, every camp that I've had or wherever I've travelled, I've made sure I've had these pictures with me and put them up, so... And I always put them somewhere that I can see them all the time. The power of intention, you know what I mean? Singularity of purpose. So this has been my screensaver since I joined the PFL in 2019. Um, since the day I signed, I changed it to this. And uh, as you can see, I've not just had this phone, a few phones. This one's smashed to pieces, so it's time to uh, change the phone. But one thing doesn't change, and that's the screensaver. Again, I'm just staring at it all day, every day, because I'm always on my phone. So, you know, it's there, it's there. It's everywhere. <laughs> So what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Making weight. <laughs> yeah. So what's your weight have to be? 155. It's tough for you because you have the kids also. Oh, let me show you. She went shopping for a fight outfit. It's got a matching coat. Oh. She's adorable. <laughs> Little entrance. I know. Kayla typically comes before her fights to get her highlights freshened up and brighter and a fresh, clean haircut. I try to come once a year. <laughs> Yeah. So before the finals. <laughs> it's been a pretty stressful six months, so I booked this knowing, like, OK, I'm going to come in, I'm going to, like, treat myself, take an hour and a half and feel good. Have you ever had someone brush your hair? It does feel good. It's so nice. Hey, thank you so much. Sorry I was late. I appreciate it.
you the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck, baby. Marco! Don't talk to the front desk boys and then forget your wallet. Guess then they just flip you off. You know it's a monster. Oh, it is? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's a high championship level of IQ right there. I have been doing two days since I was 12 years old, and I'm 32 now. It's a grind, it's a mental grind, and, and luckily I'm built for it. The longer a season goes, the, the closer I get to the bright lights, the better I perform. Once I get in the rhythm, look out. This fight is big, the legacy. I'll be very surprised if someone ever wins three PFL titles back to back to back. She'll be the first to do it three times against a very, very high level opponent. I don't think Pacheco gets enough credit. I think that Pacheco could be a champion in maybe any organization in the world. But Kayla's not in. On paper, there's nobody in the world that beats Kayla. É, hoje, cara, hoje a gente trabalhou o Wesley, né? Bastante o Wesley, bastante defesa de queda, né? Umas situações que a Kayla chega. Eu vejo o seguinte, a, a, a Larissa muito mais madura do que nas outras duas primeiras lutas, né? O resultado vai ser positivo, porque eu vejo a Larissa em grande evolução, entendeu? Não que aquela não esteja, né? Ela está sempre ali, ela é exímia, lutadora de, de, de judô e automaticamente tem um extra muito bom. Mas eu não vejo ela, ela ir mais do que aquilo ali, entendeu? O que ela trouxe para a mesa, eu não vejo ela trazendo, não vejo ela evoluindo mais. E o pessoal está vendo aí a Larissa evoluindo a cada dia. E o pessoal não viu ainda o melhor momento da, da Larissa. We at Pro Am, got a hyperbaric chamber right here, so um, it's good to get some naps and get some rest in here at the hyperbaric chamber and get your body recovered. Um, I just heard it was good for you, so you know I'm turning over every stone, making sure that you know every possible thing that we can do, we're doing, so we can be ready for this fight. It's vital, um, 100%. It's as important as the training. It's as important as um, you know the focus on the fight. If you can't recover, you really can't show up at, at your best abilities. All the stuff that you've been working on, all the quick twitch, all the moves, the combination, and things that you want to do, they're not the same if your body doesn't react how your mind wants them to. It's all tying together to make you a better athlete when it comes to mind, spirit, soul, all those good attributes that you that you look into. Today we are gonna do strength and conditioning, keep my body moving. I'm ready, that's nothing to do anymore. And it's just let it flow, let it go and win this fight. We see like many, many champions training together, so all of them, they push each other, they motivate each other, and it's super cool to be around of them. Heavyweights, lightweights, female fighters, and they all together, and the energy is amazing. All the time when we see some athletes cutting weight, it's hard to maintain their performance, so when they move to the heavier division, naturally they will increase their performance. For him, I believe he will be more focused on the fight besides the cutting weight. My opponent, he got a good, great striking, dangerous fighter, you know. I've seen him finishing fights now on the ground. We fought a long time ago, 
This is a new era, you know, and it's a new Marlon too. I'm a better fighter in a different time of my life, and I can't wait to, to get in there with more energy, speed, and everything is on point. I don't want to see these machines in these ways anymore. I just want to see another guy across myself inside the smart cage and let it go, everything. <laughs> Boys already in there grinding. This whole camp is looking great. All eight weeks of sparring, he's done amazing. And this week, you know, it's all about getting the weight down and just chopping the wood like he did. And next week, he's gonna be ready to perform. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. The thing about him is he's so well rounded now. He's dangerous on the feet because he hits so hard, and he obviously has that wrestling threat, which makes his striking come off even better. You know. So it's actually, Brandon's in trouble next week. Okay guys, last day, we one week away. Championship time. Five rounds, Mr. Jenkins. The world championship means more to me than anything else, but the bonus of the $1 million is showing me that hard work truly pays off. Cut him off, cut him off. Yes, good try, give me something, that's it. This one is a validation. This one is a stamp in front of America. This one is the top of the hill, the top of the mountain. This one is at the most famous arena in all the world. Nine seconds, good. Make them pay for that. It gets no bigger than this. Hold that position, you gonna move. There we go. Hold that position. Hey! Every day ain't gonna be pretty. That's champ camp. Yep. Sometimes you gotta push that clock all right, sir. and grind it out. Oh, yep. You're ready, sir. Yep. 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 Oh, yeah. Five time comes and you turn it on. It was electric, it was exciting, it was exhausting, it was exhilarating. And the most important thing, it's championship. Shit. One week away to his million dollar day.